Speaking of masks, students at the U of I are working to help others during this pandemic, and two of them are now creating masks for people with spinal cord injuries. WCIA3's Jen Lask has more. They've got the grant. Now, two students are getting ready to fire up their 3D printers to make these masks. Joey Peters and Ariel Rossen just got the green light from the Nielsen Foundation, which helps people with spinal cord injuries live independently. This university is known for that, and we have a lot of resources that we felt could, um, you know, work well with that grant. Peters, a Ph.D. student who works to help athletes with disabilities, teamed up with Rossen, a business student and wheelchair athlete who has her own 3D printing company. It's called Ingenium Manufacturing, and we make uh, 3D printed wheelchair racing gloves. And so when we uh, heard about the opportunity to start printing face masks, we thought it was a really great uh, way we could pivot our operations in this uh, trying time. The design they're using is approved by the National Institutes of Health. Rawson says these masks should give more protection than cloth ones. We have about six 3D printers, and so we can print the mask, and then we're going to add a filter to it and some elastic straps and everything, so that way you can easily secure it on your face and a little bit of a foam seal so it's comfortable, um, but it will still really uh, block the particles that you're breathing from getting out into the air. You know, these masks will be reusable, so a lot easier to clean than having to uh, throw them in your um, washer. So you can just kind of spray them with some Windex or some alcohol. And they're hoping they'll be able to distribute roughly 750 masks throughout Illinois. Reporting, I'm Jen Lask, WCIA 3, your local news leader. They're planning to start printing tomorrow and will work with different groups to distribute the masks once they're done.